the Nürburgring, said by experts to be the world's longest, most beautiful, yet most dangerous racetrack. Since the 1930s, racers from all over the world have tried to set new records here. This extraordinary track hosts all kinds of races, for example, a legendary 24-hour race. There's one very special woman among the racers, born in the Eiffel and raised on the ring, the Queen of the Ring, Sabine Schmitz. Sabine Schmitz, a racer to her heart and soul. In 1996 and 1997, she won the classic 24-hour race. Nowadays, she regularly claims a leading or winning position in important races. She's especially proud to be at home at the Nürburgring. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. Such a long racetrack with such a rich tradition and legendary background. Take, for example, Caracciola. In the old days, it was unbelievable. I'm proud to live and work here. No one has made more laps on this track than me. Soon I will have completed almost 30,000 laps. That's quite a lot. And of course, I've had my ups and downs. I've won many races and I've also lost many. I failed and crashed a number of times, but it's all part of the game. All races have their ups and downs, but if you're heading for the top, you need to demonstrate outstanding skill, especially if you're fighting for the genuine respect of your male colleagues. Sabine has earned an undisputed reputation among her peers. It's fascinating. Germany is a nation of drivers and a land dominated by males. There are men who come all the way to Nürburgring just to race a lap with a woman. This is quite an accomplishment, and she's achieved it all alone. The North Loop's automatically linked with her name. She's been driving the BMW M taxi, the ring taxi, for years. It was always funny to see the boys' reactions when getting in, a woman behind the wheel. But the short ride's enough to prove that prejudice is wrong. She has a cult status on the North Loop. Even the colleagues from Top Gear feature her on broadcast. This is an accolade for a local person. Eiffel, Sabine Schmitz, the North Loop, the three names go hand in hand. She's a girl who always gets it right. She has common sense. The VLN ceremony is always fun. The whole team surrounds her tipsy on beer and having fun. Even when celebrating a third place, they party as if they've won the World Cup. It's fun driving with her. She knows every inch of the North Loop. In fact, some boys can learn a lot from her. Besides motorsports, the Eiffel Lady loves nature and agriculture. For this too, you need horsepower. The tractor on her small farm can't compete with the racing car she's used to, but remains one of her favorite toys. Yeah, this is my liebstes auto. Yes, this is my favorite car, our John Deere. It's always a pleasure to take an easy ride with it through the village after a stressful racing weekend. It's great fun to fix fences, fetch wood or muck out. It's a nice contrast to racing. It has a decent pulling potential with 93 horsepower and an all-wheel drive. It's great fun driving. <laughs> Agriculture is more than just a hobby for Sabine, it's a means of earning some money on the side. Yet most of all, it's a perfect antidote to the stressful racing job. Here she feels relaxed, it's almost like a holiday. I took up agriculture too. I have a stable where I accommodate traveling racehorses for the summer. In winter, I shelter city horses, giving them the joy of open space. Together with Egon, we own 10 acres of land. Yes, this is yet another line of business of ours. Of course, fun prevails over hard work. The taxman would say that's a hobby. This is also a Geschäftszweig von uns. Yeah, the Spaß Factor. Überwiegt natürlich, Finanzamt würde sagen, Liebhaberei. <lacht> 
Polygon's a good family friend and one of Sabine's business partners. However, he gladly leaves all manual work to the smart lady racer. She can do it better than me, primarily when repairing machinery. Here, the old press needs constant maintenance. It's about 40 years old. It's the most complicated machine one could ever imagine. Yes, it's that complicated. <laughs> But agriculture and racing are just part of Sabine's activities. She's busy with other tasks too, and again she does them with joy and passion. At weekends, I'm busy at the racetrack. We often have races, so lots of preparation. The driving's just one aspect. There's always an incredible number of guests. I drive the small Porsche as a taxi. On a race day, we always get 15 to 20 guests extra, and they too need to be catered for. It's safe to say that the driving is almost secondary. I'm happy when I drive my BMW ring taxi. I'm also happy to start each week on my tractor. And off we go with the flow. I fix broken fences, fetch wood and transport manure. So Mondays are reserved exclusively for me and my tractor. There's no other option, as this is how I spend my rest time. Near the ring, there's the small town of Adenau. Sabine feels at home here. Together with her partner, Klaus Abelen, they run the Five Bucks Ranch. Klaus shares Sabine's passion for racing as well as for agriculture. Besides a farmhouse with many guests, a proper ranch has lots of animals. Here too, horsepower's really needed. Basti. Oh, poor thing, you're all wet. Good. Come here. I've had horses since I was a child. My family has always owned ponies, subsequently race horses. At some point, we even had a shire horse, 1.82 meters tall. Horses are a good opposite to motorsport. Sabine loves horsepower, be it in motorsport or horse riding. She manages both equally well, and it's a natural skill. But besides racing cars and horses, Sabine's barn has other animals as well. We have two pigs, five horses, two cats and the dog. Of course, we have a few mice, but the cats are working on them. My horses have to be fast, especially the Shire horse. Galloping's the ultimate fun. They have long hair on the legs, and when the bridles are loose, you can see the white legs flying in front of you. It looks like cheerleaders leading your way. Such horses have a so-called monster flight phase. A galloping jump's huge, and the takeoff height is more than a meter. It's unbelievable, really cool. Sabine enjoys maintaining the barn and taking care of the animals. It's almost like a personal fitness program. Motorsport requires extreme concentration and control. Naturally, it's stressful. There's a lot of mental work. And the noise and the fuss and the thousands of people wanting autographs and pictures. This is fine, but I still love coming home, feeding the horses, putting on my home clothes and getting down to the dirty work. I stroke the pigs, feed all the animals once again, and that's what makes up my inner balance. Let's not forget Sabine's pigs. They're an integral part of any farm. 
Borsti, come, quickly. Come here. When they've had their breakfast, they enjoy sleeping. These are our favorite pigs. They're quite old for their type. They are three years old and weigh almost 300 kilograms each. Monster pigs. Still, they're our favorites. They sleep all day long or wallow in the hole, smashing everything around. They feel great here. So, love, I'll see you later. I'll be back later. Yes, OK. I have to take care of the racetrack. OK, bye. Sabine knows that motorsport and the environment aren't always in accord, yet she's found her own perfect balance between racing and nature. I need the country life. I can't stand the city. I need the dirt. Here in Eiffel, we're deeply linked to nature. As much as we love the fuss on the racetrack, we love Mother Nature. We try to comply with the environment and balance nature and motorsport. At times, it's hard, but it works. Most critics lose their head when they see the greenery surrounding the track. Sabine lives on the racetrack, but is also from it. She's found an opportunity to apply her skills in ways other than just racing. I've been a taxi driver on this ring for 18 years now. They often call me the fastest taxi driver in the world. I transport tourists around the track and can virtually show them how racing feels. You need to be perfectly familiar with the bumps and characteristics of the track, especially on rainy days like this. You can fly off easily for no obvious reason. But of course, if you have as many laps behind you as I do, you know where to pay attention, where to do this and not that, where not to release the gas pedal. There are a million tricks, and I can be very useful to newcomers with some do's and don'ts. Thanks to the Nürburgring, Eiffel has blossomed. Some time ago, a big event center was built at the ring. It has many attractions and conference rooms for business meetings. It attracts many entrepreneurs. The car industry, too, takes advantage of Eiffel. The track's home to a number of test centers, particularly for prototypes. Nordschleife is naturally the ring's the heartbeat of Eiffel. It provides many jobs. It drives our overall progress. My family has a hotel right on the track, and it provides for all of us. The soil here is not fruitful, so cultivating crops is rare. So the ring contributes immensely to our town's economy. Smooth growing business requires constant repairs and innovations. In the in-house workshop, this is yet another aspect of the life of the successful female racer. After all, that's what makes her so versatile and enterprising. We've built a new hall here. The upper section on the street is the Eiffel Sports Center. It's run by a friend of ours. There you can buy used and new sports cars. Our workshop's on the lower floor where we repair damaged cars. There will be two more racing cars which will prepare for the winter season. This is the taxi car that I drive to transport tourists around the ring. It's almost ready for next year. Next door is the racetrack and one more hall accommodating the helicopter and a few cars for the winter. The race trucks the second home of every racer. Sabine uses the winter season to restore order. During the racing season, there's a constant influx of patience. partner Klaus is always there for her. The two are a great and productive team.
<laughs> it's the same one we cook together. We're an experienced team. We never fight. On the contrary, we laugh ourselves to death. Better than quarreling, right? <laughs> Look over there. Those, there. <laughs> yes, this is a sculpture. That's left over from the last race. That's 50 euro of rubber. Today we'll do one more pressure test on the engine to determine its condition. We want to conduct a few tests including compression levels to find potential leaks. Then we can proceed with preparation for next year. We need new pistons, new cans, gaskets and so on. These preparations for the new season should take place during the winter. Klaus is a professional meat manufacturer and a chef. In the meantime, he helps maintain the racing cars. If you think Sabine's just an assistant in this process, you'd be wrong. If he was good at screwing bolts and I was good at welding, then I'd stick to welding rather than screwing bolts. However, I always take part in the work under the chassis. I'm technically literate and curious about details. I have some experience. For instance, during the 24-hour race, I was leading when the fuel pump broke and I had to fix it myself. We still won. If I hadn't repaired it, I would have just stood there wasting time. It lasted four minutes, then I had to enter the box. So it's an advantage to be familiar with a few things. Und dann haben wir gewonnen. Hätte ich ihn nicht repariert, hätte ich ziemlich blöd da gestanden. Aber hat vier Minuten gedauert, lief die Kiste wieder. Okay. Und das ist natürlich ein Vorteil, wenn man sich da ein bisschen auskennt. Ne? OK, let's do the pressure loss test. This allows you to check each cylinder for leaks. You see here, on the gauge, green is good, yellow is not so good, red is dangerous, as the engine relies on a single cylinder and has a mere 1% pressure loss. So now we can put up with this for a little longer. One more? No, just the next notch. So left, no, to the right. A notch will come eventually. We need to check each cylinder individually now. When an engine breaks down, the fun begins. We do this after each race. We examine the engine for potential damage. There's a lot of shifting going on. This control check's mandatory after each race. Usually it takes just an hour to make sure everything's in order. Das dauert im Prinzip nur eine Stunde. Dann weiß hat man immer die Gewissheit, dass der Motor noch in Ordnung ist. If a valve breaks off, it gets really expensive. Therefore, it's better to take precautions. Delicate female hands make him in handy during car repairs, especially when they belong to such an expert. He's good at fumbling, as you can see. OK, I need to come up with something else. But it won't work that way. I need to come up with something else. That's what I'm trying to do now. We can dismantle the entire exhaust pipe. Then let me fumble around. Look at my hands. My thumb's not even as thick as your little finger. Then go ahead, fumble around. The thing's fixed, right? Right. It's in. <laughs> 30 seconds, darling. Yeah. OK. Got it? Yes, of course. Oh, baby, you have deaf fingers. I do indeed. Women are better at some things. And that still needs to be tightened properly. Yes, it does. That's our work now. Sabine and her Fricadelli racing team want to repeat their great performances in the endurance race. This might be possible with her current car. In previous races, her team were never outside the top five. Perfect. Great. Really? No pressure loss. 
Two percent pressure loss is nothing. Great condition, I must say. That's nothing. But when you've driven for 40 hours, the engine needs a thorough checkup and parts renewal. Once something breaks down, it costs four times as much to repair it. Therefore, it's much smarter to take precautions. It saves money and time. But are we happy with the result? Great. Brilliant. I didn't dare imagine. Best. The best, yes. Very good. So let's do a final test and go. Our racing car is part of the family. We sold the previous one, which too was a precious friend. We had it for five years and won a number of races. It was a pain to get rid of it. Adios, car. If we could, we would keep all of our current and previous cars in the living room. Sabine Schmitz, a top-notch racer and motorsport leader. She's speedy, tough and decisive on the racetrack. A woman who's taught men how to fight their fears. Her heart split in two. Love for Klaus and love for the Nürburgring. The uncrowned queen's there to stay.